Welcome to part two of our steel foundry factory, creating all of our steel ingots that we are going to need for the next factory for all the steel parts. Yeah, you think so? Is this an exciting one? If you missed part one, I'm going to link that down in the description for you. That is going through the setup of all of these machines. This is part two, where we are going to go through the architecture, uh, architectural design and choices that I'm mostly done making, but somewhat still in the process of figuring out. So, first thing I'm going to do is get this all the way around this edge here, because this is going to be a... if I can hit the right buttons... Um, an overhang. There's not going to be any building underneath it here. There we go. Then we got some of it overlapping. Now let's get back over to this side. Wow. That was not what I planned to do. Okay. And then we're going to take our inverted ramp wall and attach one there. We're also going to do the exact same thing on the other side. And for this part, I really want windows. And I think I'm going to go with these reinforced windows. I, I do like how that looks. However, putting them back at that point there, right up against the bottom there, makes that come through the window. So I don't really like that. So we're actually going to come one meter forward on that. And the way we're going to handle this gap here is by filling it in with a... Uh, concrete pillar. So first we're going to put a painted beam in, and we know that that's f four meters from... We know that that's one meter from here to here, so we need to go three meters out, and right there is where we can place our small concrete pillar. Then we can delete the painted post and put in the other pillar, and there we go. Nice and filled in there. We got a little bit of surface fighting there, but I think that kind of goes away once we uh, paint it all. It's not as easily noticed. And then we're going to put the other spot, fill the other spot there, and do the exact same thing on this side. So first is the painted beam coming out. We did not come from the wall. Painted beam coming out from the wall three meters. Get our concrete post going straight out to the end there. Take away the beam. Place that other concrete pillar down. Now we also want concrete pillars just right in this corner here. Two of them coming down to frame that in nicely like so. Perfect. And then right up above it there is just going to be the normal basic wall right there. And these are concrete, they are not steel, that way it will blend in with this over here better. Alright. Hey, baby. I don't know if you could hear him, but he just came over and said, hey, dada. So there we go, let's get this set up all the way around. I don't think we're going to put windows on this side. Just have it nice and closed. We don't need to see in there. We've got the windows under the overhang. And I love that nudge feature. It just makes so many things so much faster and easier. There we go. Let's go back to the other side. The roof is going to get a little bit tricky. For this roof here, I really want... I think it is three of these up. Which is going to give us... Oh, we're on walls. A spot for our flat roof... right there. 
four. There we go. And then we have the tops of these machines uh, clipping through the roof. That way we have essentially our smokestacks coming out. And I, I just, I really like the way that that looks. We'll do the same thing there. And then we have, I think it was two, oh, let's not blow things up. I think it was two of these that we were going to need on here. So then this becomes pretty easy here. We just fill this space in with three more. Oh, something's not lining up quite right, is it? Whoops. Oh, that's what it was. Okay. We don't do three there. We just do another four meter tall wall here. Three. I should really put a railing on this or make it wider. The three was just to get the uh, roof on properly. Four is what I wanted in order to have kind of a little ledge going around the whole thing. There we go. And then we just get a four meter wall to go in right here. We're going to have to hit H, slide it over until it gives us uh, kind of the same railing that we've got on the flat part of the roof. Perfect. Straight into that spot there. And we may not be going with that single around there either. We need the full wall to stay on there. Okay, that's why I got confused a little bit. I did actually change the design slightly, but I like this better because we don't have that weird spot hanging out. Anyway, so what we actually need here is just one layer of one meter wall on the edge of this roof here. And then we are going to put in a nice glass wall. We're gonna go with the frame windows on this upper part here. And then we are going to put in just some nice basic catwalk. Maybe we do the walkway on this one. I've been using the catwalk on most things. Seven all the way across. And that one seemed like it did something weird, so I'm just going to replace it like that. There we go. So now we've got the industrial catwalk that we can go through. We're going to put in a door on both sides here. Well, I don't have wall over there yet. There we go. There we go. Wall there. And then we just have to figure out exactly where we need these in order to get the same, uh, same look we had on the other spot. Is that too much, or is that just right? Halfway down. Oh, yep, that is the same. Perfect. So this actually works out very well. Oh, I need to rotate it, though. So that the edge is actually hanging over the edge. Just like that, and then I need my angled ones, the four meter angles, just like that. Boom. And now we just fill in right up top here. What is that going to need? I don't think it's a full wall, is it? Oh, it is a full wall. Nice. That makes that easy. Just fill that in. Boom. All right. Perfect. Now we just fill this spot in here. And we are going to need electricity for all of these machines. I should have probably included that in the previous part, 
of this blueprint, but that's okay. We'll just go ahead and put that there. I think that's going to be exactly where we need it. Now, no matter which one of those I connect up to power, we'll have the power inside exactly how we want it. And let's go into the building here. Ah! Okay. Before I get ahead of myself and jump back out to make the other side, we've just got to put a couple wall outlets, because I want this all to look nice and organized. So we're going to put these wall outlets just straight in front of uh, the power connections to the machines. And we just connect them all up. And now we don't have any cables hanging down into our pathway. Everything looks real nice and neat. Perfect. I like this. I like this a lot. And we go out here, and we're going to not have anywhere that we can actually get inside the bottom, do we? Do you think that's necessary? Do I need a spot to actually get inside the bottom? We have a window to look into it. I just need in right now because I forgot to put in the cables for these machines. Which do not actually look like they have a very good place to go on this one. Because I don't... Oh, we can attach. Okay, good. We can attach to the ceiling. I didn't realize we could actually attach to the ceiling tiles. So that's going to work there. Oh, did you get that stuck in the basketball hoop? That one can just work right off of that. And this one will look good right here. Let me just attach our machines like so. Attach our outlets like so. And now everything is going to run. No problem. All I need to do is attach... Uh, place the wall on the other side, and I think we will be done. Let's put that wall back in place. We should never need to be back inside ever again. We can see inside through here and see that it's all running and working. But there's really not a lot of space inside to move around. Now, I will be right back. I have to go get a toy unstuck from the basketball hoop. All right. Let me finish this video up a little bit. Ah! Oh. Boop! Got your nose. <laughs> he turned around and ran away. Alright, so as we did on the other side, we are going to take off these pieces that I actually ended up not needing because I changed the design just a little bit from my first time through and it came out better this time so very happy with that let's get our four meter ramp wall on and then we just put on normal wall there normal wall there and we need a door here that I almost forgot about then another ramp up here there we go And then this side just gets closed off. No need to see in there. Ah, there's the problem. Let's go from... I think we can go from the top. I go from... Alright, fine. I guess I'll get lower down on the ground. Okay, let's just zoop down. I can't zoop down. Alright, there we go. That was... A little more difficult to get those where I wanted them than I think it should have been. Perfect. Oh, forgot to color these. There we go. And see, that still flickers, but I think it's a lot less noticeable with this darker color. Should I do black? No. I mean, that doesn't look bad. What if I did green or red?
That's too much red. What if I just did the machines red? And the roof black. I like that. I like that. Okay, let's get this side black roof as well. And then red machines. And I do everything with this one swatch, pretty much, so that I know it won't change other things. If you use the other swatches, and then you end up changing them, it changes everything that used that swatch. And there we have it. Our nice steel ingot factory. Wow, I think that looks gorgeous. I think this is my favorite blueprint so far. Absolutely, without a doubt. Thank you for joining me for this blueprint. I will see you next time.